Question from John Barton on YouTube, who um, I know is a regular watcher. So I appreciate the support, John. Um, do you guys have a healthy mix of business growth processes in place to glean new ideas and thinking from newer employees? Or is it more focused on those employees helping GOAT achieve your vision? Which seems pretty amazing from the outside, I have to say. Thanks a lot. The second part of the question, does that make sense? Are there moments of wow? You know what, that's a moment of real insight right there. Let's explore that. And it doesn't necessarily have to come from you guys. So two, two questions, I'll answer the first one first, obviously. So do people coming in here add a load of new things when they come in? We've certainly had people come into the business and add value. However, what really stands us out is that we're an agency that's full of people that haven't worked at agencies before. So usually what would happen is agency people would come in and go, oh, there's a load of structures here we can put in place to make this better. The problem is one of the reasons our business, we believe, is better is that we don't run like those old agencies. So the innovation that doesn't happen is people don't come from other agencies and put structures in place. We've thought through our structures and we need people to buy into that. So that's, that's true. And we don't get a lot of benefit from hiring other agency people to come in and tell us what their agency has been doing. However, we do get a lot of people come in here and come up with new ideas, new ways of doing things. That could be a 20-year-old or it could be a 40-year-old that has a load of experience. Um, and of course, we listen. And going into the second point of, do you get those wow moments? Yeah, we, we do. We, we tend to get them from delivery, to be honest. We tend to have results that over-index on our expectations. And we're constantly looking at optimization. We're constantly looking at those results. So if we expect x to happen and 5x happens, we're obviously looking very clearly at, OK, what has happened there? Why has that done so well? And there, there have been several moments over the last five or six years, including the first moment when we discovered influence marketing, where the results have been so amazing that it's opened our eyes up to an even more efficient way of doing things. And that tends to be where we get those wow moments is, oh my god, look at that. You know, with, with naked wines over Christmas, halfway through the campaign, we sold them out of wine. It was an incredibly effective call to action that we were using. So, you know, it was a wow moment of, oh my god, that call to action is incredibly powerful. We've used it a lot since. So the wow moments tend to come from delivery. The innovations to the business we have a, a way of doing things that is fairly set, but of course we're open to listening. But what we don't do is do things because other people have been doing them for a certain amount of time. We're not a, a business or a set of entrepreneurs that's interested in, well, we've been doing this this way for 20 years, so you need to. I just That doesn't mean anything to me. I, I'm, ideally, I want as clear a piece of paper as possible to draw a straight line, and so the more legacy structures you have in place, the worse it is. So thanks, John. Great question. Please keep them coming in. We'll try and answer all of them. See you again soon.